up your slide, tell me now what you do for me, girl. Been alone for some time, so it's new for me, girl. But I wanna take a chance on you truthfully, girl. Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that. Boy, you all peace, you need to leave that. Got you on my lock, I need to keep that. Yeah, I mean that. Oh, you see that? I've been trying to hold back out of practice of control. Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone. I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone Just say when you alone, on my way I'm going gone, yeah I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever, girl, come through I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof can do whatever, girl, come through It's been a long day, you should roll up Now it's you every time my phone busts Need you around, I've been so alone Shit be hard when I'm on the road All this Louis love just made me worth the grill I don't really wanna touch it, less it's my for real I put all the diamonds on her like a chandelier She gon' get a double murder if the looks could kill Familiar, swear she look familiar. Swear to God I need her. Swear to God I need love. I've been in and out of lust. I've been in and out of touch. I've been in and out of love. Yeah. I just told my shawty better come through. We can turn it up if you want to. Looking at the sky through the sun roof. We can do whatever, girl. Come through. I just told my shawty better come through. We can turn it up. Turn it up if you want to Looking 
haven't heard from you in a while. I know this music is hard, but I know you're also doing an incredible job. I just worry that it might take a lot out of you. And Girl, come. 
turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sunroof We can do whatever, girl, come through It's been a long day, you should roll up Now it's you every time my phone buzz Need you around, I've been so alone Shit be hard when I'm on the road All this Louis love just made me wet the grill I don't really wanna touch it, let's just mine for real Take a chance on you truthfully, girl Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that Boy, you all peace, you need to leave that Got you on my lock, I need to keep that Yeah, I mean that, oh, you see that I've been trying to hold back, gotta practice of control Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone Just say when you alone Through the sun roof, we can do whatever, girl. Come through. 
tell me now what you do for me, girl. Been alone for some time, so it's new for me, girl. But I wanna take a chance on you truthfully, girl. Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that. Boy, you're all peace, you need to leave that. Got you on my lock, I need to keep that. Yeah, I mean that. Oh, you see that? I've been trying to hold back out of practice of control. Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone. I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone Just say when you alone, on my way, I'm going gone, yeah I just told my shawty, better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever, girl, come through I just told my shawty, better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun Come through It's been a long day You should roll up Now it's you Every time my phone buzz Need you around I've been so alone Shit be hard When I'm on the road All this Louis love Just made me wet the grill I don't really wanna touch it Unless it's mine for real I put all them diamonds on her Like a chandelier She gon' get a double murder If the looks could kill Man, these feelings are familiar Swear she look familiar Swear to God I need her Swear to God I need love I've been in out of lust I've been in out of touch I've been in out of love yeah. I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever girl come through I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up Take a chance on you truthfully, girl Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that Boy, you're all peace, you need to leave that Got you on my lock, I need to keep that Yeah, I mean that, oh, you see that I've been trying to hold back, gotta practice of control Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone Just say when you alone She looks familiar. 
this music is hard, but I know you're also doing an incredible job. I just worry that it might take a lot out of you. And We're back with another Soul Dog Live, another Soul Dog Podcast on this Wednesday, man. Y'all smash that like button, sub up to the channel if you're new and if you haven't done so already. Of course, y'all know my name is Jeremy Jones. And what I normally do is make content about sneakers, occasional trial hauls, and y'all know we got Music Monday, man. Pretty much this will be the time that I introduce Dunks, but um, he has a link. Um, Dunks may just be working some overtime, getting to the money. Not mad at it at all, man. Um, other than that, sign up. For the sold out discord link is pinned at the top of the chat it is free to sign up y'all know we talk a little bit of everything over there from sneakers mainly but we got the music section sports section um fitness section we got a food section which i should upload some food on there in fact low-key i definitely got to show um what i've been wearing throughout the week as well i got a picture i got to put up on there as well so show your soul we got a lot of sections over there and the sold out discord is slowly growing slowly but surely just like the channel man so pretty much um, I see that we got some people active in the chat. Um, I was in there with you guys, but y'all know behind the scenes, a kid just have to get his mind right sometimes. Sometimes I'm making sure I'm checking and making sure the setups is good and everything like that. But y'all smash that like button and sub up for sure. And um, tonight's topic, man, this is going to be a very, very chill stream. Again, uh, if Dunks joins the live, he has a link and I know how to add him in, so we should be good. Um, Jordan Brand cuts Holiday 24 lineup. And I want to talk about how this could possibly affect Adidas. And also, again, how we keep finding these game-worn, like, Jordan sneakers that are selling for, like, over 400000 some dollars. So, pretty much chill stream. Did we do a poll? Pause. Let me see. Um, This week, I don't think I've had one up. The last poll was that uh, Military Blue Shot Drop, which I've been hearing mixed reviews about how people feel about these. Like, how they feel as well as, like, they're not the... La the one we got from 2012, it's like a different shade of blue. But if you really take it back to when it first originally released, I believe it was like 1980 something. Don't quote me. It's more of that original colorway. So uh, the OGs know, and that's just what it is. And I feel like I said, I'm not there yet, but I'm ha I'm I'm knocking on man. I'm telling you. In my eyes, I feel like give me like three more years, I'm gonna be known as OG. We know, but right now I'm not there yet. But I know exactly what I see in the comparisons. A lot of people have mixed reviews about them, but salutes to the people that did get them on the shot drop. Um, let me touch the chat real quick because we definitely just introduced the topic. Make sure Dunks hasn't joined the live. We good. Um, Kwame in the building says, yo, what's good? What up, Kwame? Let's see. No Hype says, yo, these 4 p.m. PST lives are killing your boy 100. My bad, bro, man. I mean... It's hard to find a happy medium, and I know you're joking. I know I read through the rest of the stream already, um, but I'm just reading it out loud. It's hard to find a perfect time when to start these joints. Um, I've been doing seven because Dunk said he should be home by four. That's where the time really, really originated from. He even said he used to be home by three, but I know he switched to a different position. Um, I feel like the latest I would do one is eight. <coughs> Granted... I have done one around eight whenever I was at the tattoo appointment a little too long because y'all know when I be in there, I be in there, man. Um, 
Hopefully the next session goes according to plan. But I mean, it's hard to find a happy medium. So I know for a fact I'm working during the day all day. Dunks as well. But he's also on the West Coast as well. He's in Vegas. So, I mean, it's a tough call no matter how you slice and dice it, man. Um, let me hit the chat again. Charles uh, Babino says, good evening. I hope everyone had a blessed and positive day. Health, wealth, and prosperity. No Hype says, Polo, and just break, just breaking your balls, no ditty. Pause. Pause. And you know I was going to say that regardless. I know you said no ditty, and I know that's a new pause. But yeah. Um, let's see. No Hype says, I do delivery, so off at a different times, you'll never be able to make me happy. Got you. Um, pause. That's what I said. No Hype says, I said no ditty. Charles says, I completely understand with you, No Hype. I do delivery also, so it's dope to be able to catch the live. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Um, also, as you guys come in and out, because I'm going to be on this joint, look, no later than, at best, I'm going to eventually, one thing I'm going to do is try to start making sure I um start on time and just do a flat hour. I think I'm going to cut them probably starting um Monday, maybe even start Saturday. Um, It's still going to be an hour and 30 minutes, but y'all know sometimes it takes me like 15, 20 minutes to come on the stream. So I'll make sure I have everything set up. <clears throat> and whenever I hit that dot on 7, I'm going to start at like a minute or two. And then just go to 8. So I'm going to try to do it from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. and make them an hour. Um, understand attention span. No matter how good the topic is, man, we got to keep it at an hour. And that's what I'm going to go to. I'm going to change the time. See if Dunks is rocking with it. And we'll go from there. Um, but, yeah, it's hard to find a perfect time for everybody considering we got, like, what, four different time zones, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all feel, feel free to correct it down in the comment section. Or in the chat, I should say, in this case. Um See, no hype says Charles. I'm in the whole, I'm in the whole truck on the way back to the shop. Then got to drive home. By the time that happened, Polo will be saying, "I right, we've been on this joint for like an hour and forty five minutes, <laughs> so I gotta get ready." Got you, man. I try, man. I don't know. Should I bump it? Should I start it later, or should I just keep it where it's at, man? Again, it's gonna be hard to please, like you said. Everybody's schedule is different. No hype, lads. Too close uh, to close things up. Yeah. I mean, there's some go-to filler words that I have, too. I know what you're trying to get at. I know the right okay. I know the, um, all right, man, we've been on the joint. I mean, like, it's just a natural flow, man. It's better than saying, um, 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 every, I, that's my goal. And I know I say it in each and every video, but that's one of the secret goals behind the scenes that I want to be like, I don't want to use the word um anymore, but. In theory, you will find another filler word. So I think that filler word is probably going to be right, okay? Like, it just it comes with it, right? Um, no Hype says, Polo, he's giving me the fist bump, what up? Uh, let's see, yeah, he's laughing. Charles said, No Hype. It definitely be like that. Then I just roll up, put on uh, Grand Trismo or Call of Duty and run the live back. Appreciate that, Charles, man. I appreciate y'all for the people who do take the time to run, watch the playback. That means a lot. You know what I'm saying? That means a lot all the way. Because you guys should be like, oh, I missed it and just roll on to the next video. Which, y'all saw the unboxing I dropped today, right? Man, if everything go right, I'm going to have another unboxing next week. And then, hopefully, honestly, I'm trying to get one back to back to back to back for a couple weeks. But I know for a fact, hopefully, if everything goes right, I should have one for next week for sure. Um, I know I kind of got you guys off guard with that one for sure. So excited about that. Um, no Hype says, Charles, you already know. Um, and he says, Charles says, the track's bumping tonight, by the way. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, no Hype says, is Dunks going to be in attendance? He, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, uh, this is a thing, right? My bad. But this is a thing. Dunks knows the schedule, but I know, like, I don't know, like, where Dunks work, I don't think he can have his phone to give me a heads up if he's going to be able to make it. So it's kind of one of those, I set it up for Dunks every single time where all he got to do is click the link. I mean, I pretty much do what I got to do to add him in. So if he hops in, he hops in. Um, sometimes he does have enough time to tell me, like, hey, I'm going to be able to make it. But it's kind of one of those, like, we still a team no matter what. But it's always cool to have dunks like uh, to get a playoff word, so to speak, and go back and forth for the dialogue. But 
you know, I still want to keep it going, you know? Even though tonight we don't really even have nothing crazy to talk about, but I just feel like this is like me coming back to kick it with the crew, you know? Um, Kwame says, there's still going to be a million pairs of the Holiday 11s, though. Wow. Um, they're doing the Columbia 11s this year, right? If I'm not mistaken, they're doing the Columbia 11s. Charles says, I appreciate the dedication and consistency. Yeah, that, man, people, I'm going to say this about YouTube. Um, it's not as easy as it looks. And I don't know if you notice, and I will probably do the same thing if I ever make it to that level too. But once people hit like 100K, they no longer have to do the, and I'm not saying you have to do it to begin with, but the people who drop videos consistently every day and to get their channel booming and popping, Usually they slow down once they get up to the top. I just want to keep the party going and keep adding, but I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to that. But, you know, I've seen growth, and it just takes patience. And um, at the end of the day, I tell our people all the time, <laughs> trust me, at this level that I'm at, it's definitely not for the money, bro. You know what I'm saying? I definitely just got to really love sneakers in general. Um, and I do, obviously, man. And that's why I come up in here and dedicate as much as I can. And just know that when I don't go live or... I've missed a video. Something super, like, emergency happened, man. I try my best to keep working this around the clock. Um, the Slayer in the building says, what is Gucci peeps? What up, Slayer? Y'all smash that like button as y'all come in and out, man. Definitely smash that like button. Uh, Charles says, blessings to Slayer. I see No Hype says, hell yeah, I fuck with Dunk's paws. <laughs> hey, you on it heavy to, uh, tonight, No Hype. Says, salute to the chat. What up, man? So as y'all smash that like button coming and out, I'm going to go ahead and start on first night's topic, um, and we're going to talk Jordan Brand. Because this is the thing, too, and this is why I want to do this topic, too. Jordan Brand cuts holiday 2024 light up production in half. And this is my thing. I don't know if you noticed, the military blue fours got moved up, and then literally sneakers not moving like that, too, man. Um, and I don't know if you've seen like the stuff just floating around where pretty much everything is kind of on a decline across the board. Um so I'm not surprised to see a topic doing like this. And then also what bothered me, what I was actually originally going to say is there's nothing more annoying that's getting on my nerves. And I'm not mad at anybody, but I was thinking of this before I started the live is, um, there go that word again. But yeah, I was thinking of like, basically, I hate when people start, we're already talking releases for 2025. You know, it's like, it's just 2024 and we're only four months in. If I'm not mistaken, April is the fourth month. May is the fifth month, six. Like, we're not even halfway through the year, and people are already talking 2025 releases. I'm not mad at the people that's posting it in Discord. Shameless plug, sign up for that sold out Discord. But, um, because it's cool to see it, but they had to get it from somewhere, and that person had to get it somewhere. Somebody, it, 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 like, I can't get mad at people that's posting that something that's readily available on the internet, but it's kind of one of those, like, bro, like, I don't feel like we should start talking 2025 releases until, like, at least, like, October, you know? Maybe even August, you know, because like, get us past half the year first. And that's just where I'm at with it. Um, but I know we're going to talk about that anyway. I know I'm being, that's why I can't talk about nobody because now I'm about to play devil's advocate. Towards the end of the live, I will talk about upcoming releases. And yes, I do have some stuff that's supposed to drop in 2025 on the upcoming releases. It just comes with the game. So again, it's a love hate for me if that's, if that makes sense. Um, Let's see. No hype. Salute to the chat. But yeah, man, let me get to the first topic and I'm going to share my screen here. Give me like two seconds to get everything side up, uh, which I told you guys I had that behind the scenes. But anyway, here we go right here. Boom. Sharing the screen for the first time right here, which we already know the sneaker market is down. Nobody's no shock to this by any way, shape or form. Right. So we're going to see basically how it goes from there. And um, let's see why Jordan Brand has to cut holiday 2024 lineup production in half, which I'm assuming this basically means, and I haven't read through the article, is that they're going to still drop the shoes that we're anticipated, and then um, they're just not going to drop as many pairs. So those million maybe is going to cut into like 500,000, which is still a lot, you know? Um, they may have just, hey, stop production. What number are you guys at? Cool, stop production. And looks like they got some shoes already up on here, as you can see up on my screen. Um, looks like we got a lot of fours that were supposed to be. And if we get those Olive 9s, I'm going to say this. I'm copping the Olive 9s for the Nostalgia, by the way. Columbia 11s. I'm just going off what I see on the screen. Those 14 joints, the uh, black and white joints, 
probably got to have those. And then also, I see what they got over in the corner there. They have the um, the black toe reimagined joints. If I cop those, if they do drop, I feel like I'm going to be copping that off of peer pressure too, man. I don't know. Like, I'm on the fence about those heavy, but we'll see how that goes. Um, let me read through the rest of the article real quick, and um, we'll just see what pretty much we're looking forward to. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, let me just check real quick, make sure everything is good. Let me make sure Dunks isn't, uh, come in the building real quick. Pause, pause, pause. Um, says, even though holiday 2024 is six months away, see, here we go, which there's no, well, yeah, if they're going to go holiday. So I'm assuming they're starting in October or November and December. Okay, cool. So says six months away, Jordan brand solidified its lineup in March when its collection was announced. However, uh, verbals have come into play such as uh, sales figures and product designs, which have caused JB, which is short for Jordan brand. Cause a lot of people used to back in the day, we didn't just say, we didn't just say like, people used to say Jordan brand. I used to say Jordans, you know what I'm saying? We get a new Jordans or like Nike. But uh, yeah, a lot of people say Jordan brand because it is technically, it has its own line off. It's on Nike, but they're like underneath Pause, if that makes sense. Um, I assume like, and I'm not going to speak this in existence. I'm not trying to. It's kind of like yay at Adidas. While they think like Jordan brand only makes up a percentage of the sales, but they know if something was to happen, they'll see a very big hit. 10% to Nike and Adidas is a different ball game. Uh, you know, that's definitely the difference between obviously 40, 50 million, you know, give or take. And I don't know, allegedly, and I'm going to just leave it at that. Uh, it says, um, where are y'all says, which has caused JB to cause an audible, which is basically they're calling like a different play. They're switching things up. Um, if you ever played Madden, you can call an audible. Um, you can do that as well in live football. Um, it says as a result, Jordan brand has dropped numerous styles from its holiday 2024 lineup and introduced uh, drastic changes. I'm very curious what changes we can anticipate. As you can see, it looks like it's on the decline. As we got this right here. Um, let me keep going, reading through this. It said, initially, Jordan Brand was set to go all in on holiday 2024. The original lineup was stacked with tons of releases, including seven or including some heavy hitters like Air Jordan 1, Retro OG, Black Toe, Reimagine, I'm tired of the black toe. I'm gonna say this too. The, I'm not the black toe. I'm tired of reimagining stuff. We we need a um we need a different hit. I need something different other than that. You know what I'm saying? And that's just where I'm at with that. So um, it just like uh, it's like I the one honestly we should have left it. I wouldn't have been mad if they left it at the reimagined Chicago's, but also the reimagined threes was dope. I know we had to reimagine um. Royals, I just didn't, you know, and I know you got them, Kwame, but the real, like I said, it's just the real match. Sometimes Jordan Brand don't just don't know when to quit. You know, like they milk it till there's no more to be milked. Pause. Uh, that didn't come out right. Um, let's see. It also has the Air Jordan 4 Retro Fear and the Air Jordan 11 Retro uh, Legend Blue, which we all kind of knew that already. I feel it find kind of weird knowing that we'd be knowing like a year ahead of time what's coming out next year, man. I I would I missed the surprise of like what we gonna get. Um, at least you would still find out early, but I mean like now we're finding like we already know what's coming this year, and I guarantee you by August, I guarantee you by June or July we'll know what eleven is gonna be coming out next year because it's probably usually somebody who's probably working in production is that person that's probably giving the leak which I don't see how Nike them can't like break it down, but I guess innocent to proven guilty and they can't just search their, you know, they got to have a probable cause to be searching people's personal stuff, you know, and to them, Nike also probably thinks is the risk worth the reward when regardless people going to buy our product, you know, point blank period it says after some leaks and rumors on the scene, the few, the full lineup was revealed showcasing some additions such as the air Jordan three retro black cement that I can do it out. And it seems like we're already talking upcoming releases, but to be honest, that Black Cement 3, I can do it out. Um, I remember we thought it was gonna be reimagined at first. And my thing is this, even if like I don't know, I don't think they can do a re some shoes don't need a reimagined theme, bro. Black Cement 3s, they're they don't need a reimagined 3. They don't need a reimagined version. 
And the only reason the uh, white cements it works, because I know a Jordan brand thing, well, we do the white, we got to do the black. Just like when they saw, when they did the Chicago's, like, well, now we got to do the Royals. Like, no. If anything, they probably should have did, but see, they didn't think that's deep into it. They should have just did the breads, the original, the black and red joints. But I mean, no matter how you slice it and dice it, I think we should have been good with the Chicago's and maybe the threes. And then let us speculate and mumble and jumble about upcoming ones that possibly could be. Um, again, like I said, the Chicago joints was such a horrible release that that's just where we was at with it. Um, Cause you know, everybody tried, but I know several people who paid resale. I'm talking in a discord and everything, you know, once you just couldn't, you couldn't hold out no more. You went on and just caught them before it went crazy. Cause I should probably look and see where they're at. You know what? I'm very curious and I'm going to look that up real quick while we're on this. Um, we just kicking back tonight, chilling, man. But I'm very curious where the Chicago's is at. Um, let me put myself on the main screen and then I'm going to check it out. Let me go to, uh, stock X, even though people don't really shop there, but we're still, I don't care what nobody say. We're definitely gauging the market off of stock X still. So we still got to give credit where credit is to our credit where credit is due. I should say Jordan one reimagines. See if I can pull them up. Of course, wow, the Royals come up. Hold on. Re imagines. See if I even got even close. Well, no, nope, because it's pulling up the Royals. But dang, what's the what's the um what's the Chicago version? What's the Chicago joint? It's the um red joints. Um let me think. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull it. There we go. The lost and founds. Even the just the Chicago reimagined joints, they had a better name too. Like it's reimagined, but all the rest of the joints we say reimagined Royals, reimagined White Cement Threes. This one is like literally uh Lost and Found Chicago, but it's got that Lost and Found. They it seemed like they just put more thought into the first one and then the rest of it is just it didn't stick to me, pause. Even though I did cop those white cement reimagined threes, to be honest. My pair was really, y'all seen my beater pair, they're done. So I really needed a pair anyway, you know? Um, let me hit the chat real quick. It says Slayer says, not much of an 11 guy unless um, it's the 7-Eleven. <laughs> hey man, don't knock them till you try them, man. I will say this though, um, 11s are kind of like, almost like boots, bro. But let's just see what these Chicago's are at real quick. Um, they are... Wow, they're still actually overall averaging. This is why I begin the overall where people be like, man, they don't say that. It's the all, all here. If you add all this up, which I'm not going to do because we like, no. But yeah, if you add all this up, I'm assuming they have some metrics and say like, if you add it all up and divide it by how many sizes there is, this is the average cost of the shoe. But it all those depends on what your size. That's the only thing I hate about. Well, other than the high prices on resale. I hate that every size price is different, which is weird because, and I guess they have a justification because if you look at Jordan brand, I was going to say like majority of the sizes are the same and you only get what three to four sizes, but true, um, of the different size shoe. That's why I feel like sneaker resellers think they can get away with it because of, okay, Nike does it. Jordan brand does it, you know, where, okay, cool. If you want a man size, this price, if you want a woman size is this price, if you want the um, grade school size is this price and toddler size and so what for you, right? But, you know, I feel like it's diff you know, you're in a rock and a hard place whenever you look at it like that. But yeah, it looks like for my size, they're about $389, which sounds like, I think I paid like a little less than that, but I was still in that 300 mark. So, I mean, we was right there. If not more, man, I don't even want to look. Sometimes when you get that stuff, man, just be happy when you got it and be glad it's the real deal, holy field, because... Um, I could look back on some shoes and I'm pretty sure the price and my stuff is used. So it's going to go a little bit, you know, I'm rocking all my sneakers this year. I don't care what nobody say. Um, let me hit the chat real quick. Uh, let's see. The Kwame says, uh, I said Kwame, the Kwame, uh, I'm saying the Kwame. <laughs> it's Kwame. Kwame, uh, says the Chicago resale never went down too much. This is true. I mean, so I say like, honestly, even though StockX is saying like, 248 but when you factor in shipping taxing um and all that that means pretty much you're gonna be right at 
350, 370-ish. I know that seems crazy, but you know they got the little extra fees. Um, so, yeah, pretty much, yeah, these could easily turn into a $340 shoe out the gate if we was to cop right now, which is probably what you were going to pay anyway. So, I mean, if you got, I'll say this, $400 should get you straight worst case scenario, even with a little bit of negotiation, you know? Um, let's see, Kwame says, I think I paid a little over 400 a month. I mean, to be honest, and they're still kind of sitting where they were, like, it's kind of one of those, you got to be a great negotiator to get it in the 350 to 380 range now, you know? That's just where I'm at with it. You got to be a great, like, debate on that. But glad we were able to touch that real quick. Let me, uh, close this. We'll go here, back to where I was at on the original article. Man, I'm, like, got to be focused today because I thought I was really going to mess that up. No cap. Um, but yeah, so let's see, we, what else we got? Where did I leave off? It says some early pushbacks. Yeah. Such as the Air Jordan three, uh, retro black, um, cement. And then the early pushbacks like the Air Jordan three retro off nor, um, now a few weeks after that, we all, uh, thought that was the final lineup next has come to light that, uh, paints the Jordan brand holiday 2024 collection in a new way. Um, Holiday, I will say this, and I'm going to feel some type of way, and I'm going to put myself back on the main screen real quick because I'm probably about to go on a little quick little rant. Holiday season has always been like Jordan Brands, like, in my opinion, I, what have I been preaching for years, right, about the holiday season? Like, I feel like there's really two, there's three hits. Um, the They drop something like in February or March time frame to really make us all go crazy. Which in this case, I would say is definitely um, whether people are on the fence and 50 50 or not, but I feel like people are still gonna go. Even the people that say, I'll say this, even the people that say they're like, nope, I'm good, out of those people are still on the, like, out of that 50, it's probably gonna be more that's willing to go for those, um, the military blue fours I'm talking about. I feel like it's the it chew to get the summer, get the summer started off, and then we're gonna get something around like July time frame. And then what I'd be telling y'all, like, honestly, stack your pennies, because when I, like, the mid, the second week, no, by the third week of October, we finna have hit after, Jordan Brand don't let up, you know, all the way up until after Christmas, you know? That's just how I look at it, um, and it's kind of been that way for years, but if you're telling me this year we're gonna have none of that, like, bro, like, I'm not gonna be had, mad financially, but I mean, like, this kind of seems like they're trying something different, but also, I wanna keep this in mind, because we're gonna definitely talk about Adidas, where what they need to be doing as well. But um, Nike doesn't have no super... While there's people putting out heat like Joe Freshgood and New Balance doing, they doing a great job. Um, other places are putting out heat, but it's still not on Nike's level. So Nike really looks at it like they probably have no major competition. So if there's any time to really revamp and change the companies without... We're just taking a minor hit versus like before it probably been... Yo, we can't do all, you can't do both, you know? So that's what, I feel like this is where they're at. Because think about it, they've been doing the CEO swap around. We've covered that. So Nike is just at that point where maybe they're, they want to revamp because, to be honest, uh, and we can think, well, I ain't going to say that, but we can say, like, ever since the Off-White thing and Virgil, rest in peace, um... You know, Nike hasn't had that next, like, it thing. We've had some, that Chicago was cool, you know. But just imagine if they did that Lost and Found and wrote Off-White on it. And Virgil did it and put a, you know, I know we got a Chicago version reimagined. Or, no, Chicago Off-White already. But imagine if he did, like, another version, like, and called it, you know, how they had a 1.0. Now, this is a 2.0. I bet you people would show off for those 2.0s. And that's just my thought, man. Like, um, Nike, but at the end of the day, they're still the top dog and they make the calls. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, I always say this too. Uh, Nike's the billion dollar company, not me. So, and I'm going to just leave it at that. So, I'm assuming they know what they're doing. Um, but a lot of businesses too, and I don't know, and this is off mode, but I'm going to um, touch on it too. Red Lobster apparently is pretty much in a rock and a hard place right now, whether they should file bankruptcy or not. You know what I'm saying? Like some, and I'm a B100, man. Where I grew up from, there was not a red lobster. And then when I moved to another place for work, 
Um, and I tried that joint for the first time with some homies. Bro, like, I was geeking. Like, I was like, bro, I, this tastes so good. I could eat. I could order again. And they're like, yo, it's not. It's good, but it ain't, like, that good. And they're like, they be taxing for this fast food, seafood, but it's a sit-down place. And also off mode, but I'm going to go continue on. Um, All they got to do, in my opinion, Red Lobster, they hit, but nobody don't want to get dressed up and do all that because they, you know, for that, what they can do is take it to like a fast food style type of, not like Long John Silver's, but like what they can do is kind of like how Chipotle or whatever them have, like, you know, you get in line, boom, 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 get your stuff, or you can sit there and eat your goodies there. You know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, off mode, my bad. Let me get back to the article real quick. Let me uh, share my screen, make sure Dunks hasn't popped in here real quick. My bad, y'all. I kind of got off, and I have kind of like a little hungry, but let me share my screen. Boom, right here. So, um, pretty much, where did I leave off? It says, also, and these are the other ones. It says, uh... Soul Retriever can confirm that the following styles have been dropped from the holiday 2024 lineup. This is the Air Jordan 1 Medium Olive. So let me get a glimpse of these real quick. Boom. So these have been dropped. So, and this is stuff I hadn't low key, I hadn't been paying attention to. So looks like there is going to be these. They're not, this shoe would have hit. This shoe would have hit for fall you know what i'm saying like because we're in spring actually this could have hit right now or it can hit in fall i see more fall colors but this could have hit this definitely could have hit um let me see what else i just want to get some visuals on some of the stuff that we're not really too like super familiar with uh the air Jordan one low 85 mocha metallic mocha they can keep these jeans bro um they would probably sell but like and no disrespect but this would be for the more like the um the OGs, you know what I'm saying? Like, this would be more for, like, the um, the older guy. You know, like, the gen like as I get older, when I hit, like, that certain mark, you know what I'm saying? Which is nothing wrong with that. I feel like I can see this being, like, a dad, a good dad joint. You know what I'm saying? Or you, like, you retired mode joint type of thing. Um, and then see what else. We have the Andrew on 3, Barber, Cole, uh, Brown. Y'all know I be messing up that word. I see people, like... Yo, homie messing up this. Oh, nah, he can keep these. This is supposed to be the Air Jordan 3 uh, Barbaco Brown release in spring 2025. Okay, so it's been pushed to 2025. That's that suede, but I guess it's a brown suede, right? Um, Me, personally, I'm going to say, yeah, no, not for me. You know, I'm going to just leave it at that. Not for me, but not bad because it kind of looks like a black too, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me uh, see what else we got real quick. This is actually, I like how this article goes where you can click on this stuff. So there's an Air Jordan 5 SE, which is special edition anthracite. Hey, these don't look bad though. That's what I'm going to say. These don't look bad. It kind of gives me a Black Cat 5. If there was a such thing as a Black Cat 5, it should be, they could tweak this even better they should make this a black cat five um the slayer says gonna cop those at ross for a quick flip <laughs> um no hype says watching while driving home all right man hey stay focused and be safe though man just kind of all you got to do is listen you don't got to go all out d you know what i'm saying um let's just see um let's see we'll see what else we got real real quick and then uh let's see we got the air jordan six breads yeah they can these shouldn't be even this should be a mock-up and we said no bro i'm not feeling these at all the air jordan 6 bread uh yeah no thank you at all like no thank you at all um let's see what else we got uh let's see the air jordan 13 chutney which i think maybe uh these i wouldn't have been mad at these did drop back in the day um I didn't have a pair, but I seen these joints when they were walking around a lot, you know? Uh, I don't know. I would have to, like, that would be like if it got on sale because they didn't sell out, then yeah. says, 
Some of the pairs that have already been confirmed to be released for spring 2025, while most others are still to be determined. Addition, Jordan brand has dropped a significant number of Air Jordan 1s for production entirely. And I've said this time and time again, too, about the Air Jordan 1s. Um, bro, we need, I'm going to speak for myself. Y'all sign off how y'all feel about it. We need a break from the Air Jordan 1s, bro. That stuff seems a little too copy and paste. I know I sound like a robot. I know I've said this probably, what, Saturday? And I'm going to say it again. Like, bro, we need a break from the Air Jordan 1s. And I'm going to just leave it at that. The Air Jordan 1, granted, I got my eyes on some Air Jordan 1s. I'm going to tell you all which ones. But these are, like, stuff that, like, we're, we weren't sick of. They were just hitting. Now it's kind of like, all right, so I don't ran y'all production on it. Take a break. Says the Air Jordan 1 news shouldn't come to surprise as a as the sneaker has significantly lost its superpower and has been dead for quite some time now. The plan aligns with Nike's decision to cut back on the production of classic styles like the Air Force 1, which we covered that as well, I think, right? Where they're going to stop that. But I mean, I don't see why not. If the numbers are still moving, y'all still eating. If that's a brand breaker. So I don't know why... Like I said, this whole new switch up, I'm very curious where they're trying to take it. Um, let's see. Kwame says, they've been getting lazy with all the one color. Oh, heck yeah. No, like, I'm going to be honest. I feel like we can, no, I'll say this. I ain't, I don't want to seem like y'all ain't got no creative bones or anything like that. Pause. But I feel like I can go over there and be like, all right, guys, what color have we not done? Cool. Switch it this way. Like, I feel like they actually just have a machine is like, they got it in rotation. Like, all right, cool. This should make us like over a thousand pairs of different colors and different shades. This machine just wrote, just pulled a slot sheen and boom, this is the color. All right, cool. Uh, let's make it happen. Johnny hit the button, send the order. You know, I don't know, you know, but who knows says, so we can still inspect to see numbers in GR like air Jordan one mids, which I never got into mids, but I know mids actually had a life of their own. And I feel like that's for, the younger generation that's like, I want to say, actually not even a generation underneath me, maybe the generation underneath them. Yeah, I'm telling my age a little bit, but I feel like it's for the young, young bucks that's still, that's rocking the mids, man. I never got into Jordan 1 mids. And the lows, I never really got into lows. I've only had, I was about to lie, I've had two lows. I had the clothes and ceremony joints, the white and gold joints, because y'all know I'm a sucker for gold. However, I just didn't like the way that shoe looks on my foot. And... As much as I love gold shoes, I'm a sucker for them. I don't know where I would want to wear these joints. So that was one. And then the other one was I did where they did the bread. It was like a Concord, but with like a bread mix. It was like a low. I forgot the name of them joints. It's like it's like a Concord joint, but then it had like red rubber bottom paws. Um, those lows. I had those. I sold both of them. I sold both of them. Like, yeah, my collection. Yeah, I definitely sold that. The Slayer says, at Kwame is speaking facts. They have. They. It, I mean, yeah, Kwame's not wrong. They've gotten lazy. Old. It, we've said it without saying it. And the thing is, either we're getting older and we're like, all right, cool, man. You ain't going to get us with the same old, same old. We need something different. But at the same time, we're going to be very picky and critique you about it. Um, Nike's probably like, yo, we cannot win. But, yeah, the off-white was the last thing that kind of went crazy. And the Travis, but I think even we're, granted, if everybody don't have a Travis by now, we're kind of like whatever with it, which some people just went on and just bit the bullet and played resale. Um, we still want to see something different, you know? So that's just a tough call. Um, it says, so we can expect to see numerous GRs and Air Jordan mids and lows, but fewer highs and special edition colorways. The splash and production effects more than the Air Jordan 1 as other pairs from the holiday 2024 lineup will see a significant cut in quantity as well. Pairs affected in this production could include our production cut include Air Jordan 1 OG Satin Shadow. Let's see what these about. Um, this is a women joint. Um, I don't hate the satins, but I'm not like a major fan of an Air Jordan 1 satin. It just feels like it would. I don't feel like it would age well. Like, it seems like... The, I don't haven't felt it, but I feel like it could be easy to destroy, though. Especially if you balled in them. But, you know, some people do. Um, we got the Air Jordan 4 Ostrich, um, which I... Yeah. No. The Barney joints. This is my thing, Nike, with this, right? 
because the fours is next one they're kind of ODing on too. If y'all want to bring back something, y'all need to do that original mock-up that was flowing around of the I'm a Man Year 4. We didn't want the Barney joints, even though they sold off off the face. They don't realize that the way the three went crazy, that's what made people buy like me. I bought the um, ones, you know, because they did it in the right order. You know, now, but it's like, yo, those fours, that was not it. Mainly because of what we've seen the mock-up of. So, yeah, but these kind of gave me that. But this is called the Orstridge Fours. Um, let's see, we have the Air Jordan 4, Orstridge. Let's see, this one is the Air Jordan 11 Retro Bread Violet. There's another women's shoe. Another one of these, it's not needed, bro. I don't want to sound like I'm hating, but this looks like an ashy, like, it looks like you played, like, ba you pulled baking soda on your uh, bread 11s, you know? I don't like it, and that's supposed to be velvet. Okay, I get it. It's supposed to be velvet material. It's too ashy, bro, and I know that's just how velvet is, but I'm not feeling it. You know, I'm basically giving you guys early drips or skips, I guess. Um, got the Air Jordan 12 Retro Blueberry. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it because at this point, I remember I saw, actually, I saw um, somebody post this in the Discord probably like a month ago. I think it was Divine. Yeah, in this case, just give us the French blues. Like, this is kind of one, they're kind of getting like on that yay to pause, you know, where they were like literally just making the next shade color over. No effort. Um, the women's Air Jordan 12 Phantom releases holiday. So, these right here, right? My issue with this, and I'm going to pull up an example. Not to sound like I'm hating. These look like the Drake uh, go, the Drake OVO joints. Let me put, let me, I'm going to see if I can get a cool little side-by-side -side comparison real quick. Let me put myself back on the main screen. I'm going to pull them up. But these joints look, I'm going to see if I can just do a tab and put them up and so you guys can see what's up. Hold on. Because I know I ain't tripping. Like, I was thinking, like, did they bring the OVOs back? This ain't the OVOs. Let me see. Jordan 12... And these are the Drake joints, which that's another story within itself. Drake shoes, in my opinion, never, they had a moment, but they never took off like that, you know. But I remember, I, I know Celeste was rocking these joints, but I want to know what's the difference between this joint and what we already got. So give me like two seconds. I'm trying to get it aligned up so we can see what I'm talking about here where, yo, this looks just like that. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about, but this is kind of crazy, man. Um... Let me see if I can get it right. Uh, boom. I'm doing just some sizing real quick. Hopefully, I don't mess everything up. Give me like two seconds. Yeah. I just got too much going on on the screen. Holy crap, man. The kid been just working, I guess, man. Sheesh. I'm going to move one to the side. Let me see where the other joint at. It's over here. All right. I got this. I can control this. <laughs> Plus, y'all know the kid on that, like, I've been, I definitely had a conversation with Bob, too, man. Pause. But here we go right here. I think this should be uh, sufficient. Give me, like, two seconds. Hold on. I want to get it where we can get nice and biggie size as good as we can. So I want you guys to be able to see it and see what I'm talking about. Make sure I'm not tripping. So, all right, cool. Let me put myself on. Let me share my screen. Give me, like, two seconds. Boom. Here we go. My bad. That took a little bit longer than what I wanted to do. But uh, as you can see on the left here, uh, and I'm going to put the mouse over it, these are pretty much the Phantoms that's supposed to be, that was anticipated for 2024. But does these not look like the OVO Drake joints over to the right, the white joints? That's the exact same shoe, except the only thing that's changed is that toe box area where we got, and I guess you can say like snake slash reptile skin or whatever that is on the 12. The Drake's joints is just ashy there. But other than that, that's a, like, and then other than, obviously, the OVO logo. This OVO logo inside of the shoe. So this basically is not going to, like, somebody like me, it'll make me go try for the OVO 12s and find them, which I probably should grab. If I really want them, I should grab them now while there's no hype to them, which I may just add them to the collection just because. And I'm thinking, like, the, I don't like the 10s, but I think maybe the 12s. I remember they did the 8s. That was complete trash. Did they do, they didn't, they did the 10s, 12s, and I know they did some 8s, and I know there's a Air Force One, but see, now, now I think about it, I really don't want none of them when I think about it. I know they did 10s, and I can't think of the other one. Um, did they do OVO 6s? Don't quote me. 
But yeah, this shoe looks exactly like, you know, what's right next to each other, man. We're not... Come on, Jordan Brand. Like, maybe the new, younger, like, the younger, younger generation, like, yeah, man. And I can see that. But it's the exact same shoe, bro. And the only thing is, it just don't have that OVO stamp inside of it, and that toe area is different. Which, I guess, in Nike world, it makes it different. Um, Let me hit the chat real quick. Uh, let's see. No Hype says, MB, easy pass. Uh, let's see. Robert Williams says, it's drip or skip. It's skip for me. Uh, yeah. See? And this is my thing. If you... This is my thing. I ain't say the OVO 12s didn't do their thing, but once they sold out, nobody really went checking for them like that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the same with these. Like, they may move, but I don't think they're going to move like that. You know? Um, but again, this is... 12s go to the hood, and the hood buy stuff like this, too. Nike know who the audience is, and I ain't trying to be doing stereotypical things. Um, let's see. Charles says... The exact same shoe, just no sting ray. Basically, I mean that's the only freaking difference. I like on yeah, that's what that Drake joint is called. That's the sting ray joint, which I'm not a major fan of that, man. Um, so yeah, I just want to go through that real quick. Let me put myself back on the main screen, make some adjustments real real quick, and we'll see what else on there. I'll finish up that article and then we'll transition on what Adidas needs to do, and then we'll talk about Michael Jordan's shoe at the end of the joint. Um, it says, let me hit myself, share the screen real quick. Boom, here we go. Says, while the pairs or GRs, the number of pairs that will be made will be dramatically lower than the GRs we've seen in the past year. I mean, the demand is down. This is kind of like common sense. Um, not making fun of the people at the article. Says, the result of the changes to Jordan Brand's holiday 2024 Lano should ease some people's wallets while also trying to re reunite the spark on the retros again if you were around for the retros in the early 2010s expect to see releases in lineups with the marketing plan general releases will still be gr but the number of pairs and stores will not also be massive as they have been over the past couple years the demand just not there and i've said this a hundred times too if nike the head honcho is taking cuts Everybody underneath from the resellers to Adidas to everybody that's underneath Nike that's in the shoe game, they will be feeling too right down the sketches. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this is my thing. Even if like the other Nike go down a little bit and the other brands go up, Nike them still so far by a land curve or so far away, bro. It's like comparing apples to oranges to these guys almost. And I ain't trying to like really ride jordan brand or anything like that or, or nike but says the plan could either cause a shift in air jordans on the resale market once more bringing hype back to the brand or prove that today's trends have impacted the brand in ways that might make jordan brand retros an afterthought only time will tell if this new method will make or break the future of air jordans as we move further away from michael jordan's legacy and people who were affected by it check out the jordan brand release calendar and keep it locked yeah okay cool so that pretty much lets me know i'd say that yeah one or two things happen the market either gonna just get worse or the demand is going to go back up and make everybody want to pay resale. Wow. I'm mad I pulled all these joints to the side like that. I could have said a whole bunch of times just by scrolling down, but then they're going to have to go back up in the article. But I didn't want to pretend like I knew what every shoe looked like. But this is every shoe I literally just pulled and looked at. Interesting. Eh. For the most part, I feel like this. This is stuff Jordan Brand and Nike knew that wasn't going to really sell out that crazy like that anyway. So I'm going to transition to the next topic, and then we're going to keep it moving. We're right on schedule. I'm going to join for like another 15 minutes. Y'all definitely smash the like button, sub up. Uh, definitely means a lot. It says Adidas couldn't benefit from Nike's innovation. Uh, Adidas could benefit from Nike's innovation lag analysts say. And this is a new product that Nike's trying to also bring on. Because Nike's trying to really revamp some things. But in my opinion, and we said it 100, we've said this too when we talk about it on live. In my opinion, these ain't going to be it. Jordan Brand, your technology can only... Okay, cool. You can do whatever you want to do, but we've accepted it for what it is. It ain't the technology that needs to be updated, buddy. And Dunk said this too whenever we talked about this one on Saturday. It's literally... It's the design. This is not it, you know? 
And uh, let's see, Robert Williams says, I'm done buying the funny color J's. Only the OGs inspire colorways for me. I feel like everybody goes through that wave. Because I had it where I bought the funny looking colors or whatever. Not taking shots at the people who do. But then once I started getting the, when the OGs started to drop, I started getting more and more OGs. And I'm like, you know what? And it's crazy. I had a coworker. He worked at a different location. I still, we still work same company, just on a different team now. But he was a huge collector just as much as I was, if not even more. And he was like, yo, to be honest, these new colorways, I only want the OG colorways. I only want the stuff that was out that, you know, I need to refresh on that I couldn't get when I was a kid, this, that, and the third. So, yeah, I say all that to say that, yeah, it everybody goes through that phase of where I just like the only OG colorways. Like, or not only that, it'll be like if I'm like, I like this, but if I know an OG coming that OG, I'll say like, oh, this required. You know, some shoes I just look at as required. Um, let's see, Robert Williams says, prices is too rich for my blood. Oh, yeah, man. Um, these last few drops, man, I really came off the hip with the chips. But I feel like the only thing I had on my radar, for real, for real, like I got, in theory, in the span of a few weeks, I should have at least three more unboxings. And then the Military Blues, which be another like mall vlog or whatever, because most likely if they don't do a shock drop on them, hopefully if I can hit on Foot Locker and them, I'll do the mall vlog, then do a separate video for that. I mean, just future content stuff like that already come to my head, pause. But um, yeah, safe to say like, to be honest, the reason I went, was comfortable buying these shoes on the resale market is because, um, not because the market is just down, is that I knew the only thing that was on my radar on this side of, side of, side of, side of town for retail was the uh, Military Blue Fours, you know, and I did try, I don't know, I, I ain't even, I got busy at work, so I couldn't try for the Jackies, you know, so, but this is pretty much Nike says, in recent months, analysts in the street has uh, criticized Nike innovation pi pipeline for lackluster, which I feel like that's just like somebody, some investors just complaining because the numbers went down. They're looking for what they recommend, but they're not in the game. I'm going to say Nike innovation issues might benefit the other brands leaving in uh, the shadow of the swoosh. And Monday note, the investors, Morgan Stanley analysts, and these are people that's making, they don't know, you know what I'm saying? They're making their best educated guests from the outside looking in like us, allegedly. You know, they just happen to have a little bit more data, probably. Um, it said that Adidas, which is only just starting to emerge from its own series of Yeezy-related challenges, could stand the benefit from Nike's slowdown in the innovation department. Because Ye clo I hate to say it, but Ye closed Adidas, bro, in so many words. He brought them back down to reality. Um, I bet you they looking back like, man, we should have really tried to really work with this guy, but some tell me... Kanye is probably not the most easiest to work with. Not to drag him into this. Uh, Devon Photo in the building. What up? He said, uh, I heard some people were getting factory flaws on the military blue force. That's a lot low key. The keep of the honey. Salute to the people that did hit on sneaker shock drop for those military blue force. Um, I know for a fact that I low key was saying, like, I hope I don't hit. I don't mind if I don't hit because. I would like to go pick them up in person and inspect them and stuff like that. And, you know, you get options. Maybe they'll swap one out for you, something like that, you know. Um, just you get, they get inspected a little bit better at the new Foot Locker. They uh, expanded in my area, bro. So maybe that's where my mind was at. Uh, Divine Photo says, what up, Polo? What up? What up? Y'all smash that like button as y'all come in and out, man. I'm going to be on this joint for like another 15. Um, let's see. That's 314 Roman noodles, right? I'm almost positive. I can never forget you, homie. Says, well, 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 if it isn't uh sir, skip a lot. Um he says, How you been? Man, I'm 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 cooling, man. I'm chilling, chilling. This is supposed to just be a smooth, like, relaxed life, you know. Um, how you been, bro? He says, uh, sorry for the long absence, was moving into my first home. Hey, I understand moving, man. It's very, very uh, draining, even if you got it organized, man. It's a lot that go into it, so I respect it, man. Congrats on the uh, new home. Let's see. Devon says, when Adidas came out with the AE1, that's the thing I give Adidas credit for is trying some different design. Yeah, they definitely do. But see, Adidas is in a rock and hard place. Like, they stuff definitely was a little too OG. They had to bring something different to the table. 
Nike kind of got like something to go with every other season for Jordan, you know, as he made these shoes. That's why we got so many, you know. Um, Nike, and let's keep it 100, we mainly only focus on 1 through 14, you know. A lot of people get some random numbers here and there, but that's like the main focus. But let me read through this article. It says, we see the scope of Adidas to opportunist uh, benefit from the current low in Nike's product innovation, as well as benefiting from more rational pricing approach as Nike looks to set up to return more scratic models. Um, it says, with the franchise products, read the note from the analysts, including, um, and they got some names here. It looks like Grace Smalley. I'm not sure who these people are, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty successful. Um, let me hit the chat real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, Kwame says, LOL, what's good? Congrats on the house. Um, let's see. Devon says, congrats on the crib. Uh, 314 says, thank you guys. For sure, for sure. Um, he says, my shoes got the biggest room in the house. Oh, wow. Wow. Low-key, I don't want to sound like I'm hating because in my crib, low-key, I had moved last year, too, into a little bit of a bigger spot because my shoes, I hate to say this, they needed their own room, and now they got their own room, you know, but it's also a stool. I get in there, I record. Um, Y'all know I've been making a lot of content in there. Um, Stuff that I didn't think I would need in there, I may need it. But I think I may change it up a little bit and uh, go back to a sit-down style, like video shoot where I'm not standing up and uh, just make it more comfortable and come back down. But I think I'm going to get what they call, what is it? Uh, um, What am I looking for? A low, not a loafer. It's one of those joints that you can fold down. So even if I have like whatever people need to stay over, boom, it can fold down. I can't think of the joint. But it's one of the, a futon, a futon, a futon joint, like a futon style couch. I may do that, chill, and uh, get some content made, you know, made it different. Just switch it up. Sometimes you got to switch it up. You don't want to be in the same environment. Um, let's see. 314 says, I feel it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see. I bet you do. Let's see. Um, let me hit the chat real quick. It says, in recent months, analysts the street have criticized Nike's innovation pipeline as lackluster. In December, Nike announced a new round of layoffs. Yep, because that's a, if Nike land off, dog, all these companies going to feel it. Kwame says, my guest room got a futon in it, but it's using it as a couch to play the Xbox sometimes. Yeah, that's the thing about a futon. It's a win-win. Like, even if, say, like, I told you, like, yeah, I'm literally could be in there just shooting videos, which... I may low key have it where I can uh, do like how I feel like I'm gonna set it up where I'm gonna probably get a TV mounted in that joint and then uh, switch just have different angles like you know where like just to bring something different where I'm still in the crib but I'm got different angles to shoot different stuff so like I think that's my next goal I'm gonna build it up all the way around there boom 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 and uh, it'll work I got that but that's gonna be that whole if. If the channel grow, I may do it at the end of the year. But who knows when I may get inspired to do the stuff, man. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to turn that joint into a whole little different experience where when I, I like, on, it's going to be one way in and one way out. And then I'm also low-key building up my uh, gym sneaker collection. I'm going to do a video on that pretty soon, too, um, which I'll just give you guys a recap of what I've been working out in, too. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. After the new round layoffs, it says um, the multi-year cycle of innovation to win over the customers. So they're basically saying they're cutting the cost to bring in more innovation, which I'm pretty sure they could have kept those people and paid it. But they just somebody at the top didn't want to come out of their pocket no more than they had to, um, which is part included uh, streamlining the di distribution of some of the its key franchises to drive more uh, brand heat. Since then, Nike has touted new products like the Air Max uh, DN, the Pegasus Premium, and the Pegasus 41. So, it says, just last week, our chief executive officer, John Doho, which we read that as well, uh, blamed the remote work. Yep, it's pretty much, and we ain't got to read through this part, because that pretty much let, let me know everything where this is all going down. So, this goes hand in hand. So, um, and what this article, what I'm getting from it is, what Adidas need to do while Nike's taking these layoffs and taking these cuts, if y'all plan on like stepping your game up and getting back to where y'all want to be, this is what y'all need to be doing versus just playing. You know, Ye pretty much ro rolled it down, hold it down over there. So I mean, like this is what 
you guys got to show that y'all can stand on your own. And then keep in mind, they also lost one of those uh, soccer teams overseas too, I believe, you know, to Nike. So, uh, now we, I'm going to say this, Adidas has always been number two for, well, they've been number two for a while. If they go, well, I don't know, bro. And I ain't going to speak that in existence, but yeah. Nike them going to be unstoppable. But let's talk this uh, Air Jordan Game 1 signed sneaker bread from 1996. NBA Finals auctions for, sold for $482,000. And then we'll talk upcoming releases and wrap this thing up. Because I'm only just going to go over this real, real quick. Um, it can't be that in-depth. So right at the like five-minute mark, we'll talk the upcoming releases. So says that Jordan and the Chicago Bulls beat the Seattle Supersonics 4-2 uh, to secure the team's second three-peat. Michael Jordan, legendary Air Jordan 11 bread from the 1996 NBA Finals sold for nearly half a million recently with its $482,000, $600,000 closing bid. This is my thing, bro. What are you going to do with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't wear it once you get that type of item. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, literally, that noise y'all just heard, I don't know, but apparently there's a restock on Nike.com for the Air Jordan 14 Flint Gray. Just got that notification as well. Um, let's see. Kwame says, sports memorabilia collectors are another level. Yes, they is, bro. But still, for like, I don't know. I, but this is also, I'm looking at probably somebody who got this is somebody who already got it all that they want anyway. Because I was like, yo, that's a whole car. Like, you can go get a, uh, you know, a good Rolls Royce. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can get a lot of great options, but they probably already got all that, you know? Um, let's see. Three on four says, legit, there is nothing coming out that I want this year. Wow. Wow. Man, usually you have something on the radar, man. But I, but honestly, after these military blue fours, I think the Columbia 11s is going to be a force. I'm going to get them. But they, like, if we, if they did some other 11 that I wasn't feeling, I wouldn't even trip. You know what I'm saying? I went, because, you know, 11s that sought after shoe. I know a lot of people don't really go crazy for them. Um, it says the game warning sign Air Jordan 11 is a size 13 and a half, which, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Jordan wore and he won. He wore 13 on one foot and 13 and a half on the other foot. It says features Jordan's signature on the white midsole with creases as the players was uh, worn, as the pairs were worn in the uh, perpetual game in the 1996 finals. Um that just lets you know, hell, he played how many games back to back, you know? And that's show, like us, we just walking him, but look what he doing, you know? It says during the game five, Michael gave the two gave me two tickets to one of the NBA finals and gave me and said, Bring your mom and dad. This is the dude, uh it says Jess Slaughter, who is Seattle Super Sonics ball boy and worked the teams. Home games during the 1996 finals obtained the pair. Okay, and then now, so he's finally selling them. Like, wow. Basically, Mikey Michael basically gave him, hey, tickets to the game and you making money. I feel like we've heard this story before. And I feel like these shoes get sold every other... I feel like it's the same shoes getting sold every other, like, year or two at a crazy price at some auction after the person realized, like, man, that was not the smartest purchase. And they sell it to the next person that really, really want them. Um... Let's see. Uh, three on four says hit on the fours for my mother for her B day. That's what's up, man. Hey, that's a win. Um, let's see. He says I'm cool with them. No, cool. Got you. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk upcoming releases and start wrapping things up here for the night. The stuff that we still know that I guess is still supposed to be coming. Uh, y'all definitely smash that like button as y'all coming in and out. But we got the J Balvin and Air Jordan three retro Rio colorways. Um. I don't know how I feel about them. It's a little too dark, but I'm not mad at it. I know they're going to sell. They definitely got an audience. Um, I would say the, the the I guess the opposite, the white pair, which is really the cream pair, pause. I still like those a little bit more. I'm like, this is my thing where it's one of those shoes. Like, to be honest, I only have two more, no, three more shoes on my radar to complete everything that I'm content with, like other than jumping out the roof or something super crazy. Um, then I'll probably like, you know, if you get, I add these, you know, you know what I'm saying? They all right. Um, they got me like a, this would have been the perfect time if they would have dropped this joint before the solar eclipse, you know, 
But of course, everybody's a marketing genius whenever, you know, they don't work for the company. Because I probably would have never, ever, like, because when you work there, you're probably going to be like, yo, when should we drop these? I don't care. Yo, they're going to buy regardless and walk off. You know, I would be saying something like that, you know. Um, but we also have, apparently, these uh, reimagined black toes. This was uh, supposed to be in October 2024. Um, but I think there's maybe getting scrapped. So we don't know, you know. And then the Travis Scott joints, the Elkins. Uh, it's supposed to be coming in May. I like these. Y'all know I, I know a lot of people said they ain't feeling these, but hey, by all means, don't like them, bro. I'm good with. I will. I got a fit that I can get with these. I like it. It seems it screams summertime for me. Summer and spring for me. Um, let's see. Robert Williams says I need the black toe fourteens and the olive ones. Uh, and the, the, the black toe 14s and ones, olive nines, black cement threes, uh, legend blue 11s and military blue fours. That's it for this year. <laughs> I mean, bro, you boom, boom, boom. I'm saying everybody's saying, yeah, I just need one. You got a lot of it on the hit list, but ain't nothing wrong with it though. I need those olive nines as well, bro. I need those olive nines. I think I got another, like, I think, oh, okay, cool. They got a Jordan sale going on with 20% off. It's funny doing this. They're letting me know all these changes. So like that lets me know all the product they had that was anticipated to move, not moving. So if they got twenty percent off, this is not a third. That's to them not really taking a pay cut, but they is because it's not what they were anticipating to make, you know. But I mean, they still gonna be like the hundred billion dollar company, right? Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Kwame says I'm waiting on a sport blue Air Max to go on sale. Uh, let's see. Uh, three and four says, never mind them soul fly twelves and dark mocha lows might be on the radar. Okay. 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 Uh, let's see. Kwame says I double up last year on the red full price. I need those below retail. Oh, the, um, the air max joints, the sport red joints. I got you. Uh, three and four says maybe those air joint 13s, midnight, uh, navies. If they look like they mock up. I might get them. Okay. Okay. So we got these. And then I think we also, are, this is 2025. Didn't really want to talk about it, but I know y'all seen this floating around. They're supposed to be uh, the return of the bread 2025. My opinion, too soon to be talking about a bread 85 right now. I mean, a bread 2025, a bread one. Um, And then Yachty had the concrete boy joints, but it's like, we don't know when this is actually going to drop. Now these, in my opinion, don't look bad. I ain't even try. I ain't realize I was doing that. I must be on another planet. But yeah, uh, oh, it's doing this on its own, even if I don't touch it, because it can tell you can drag. But I don't want to do all that. But you can do that. Okay, cool. Which it did have done on the screen like the whole way. Um, I don't know. These scream like a wannabe Bapesta version. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, let me read the chat, and I'll put myself back on the main screen. Um, let's see. Devon says, "I just need one Jordan." I just need one Travis Jordan one low and I'm good. I feel you. Um, let's see. Three and four says maybe those Air Jordan 13s, Midnight Navies, if they look like the mock up, I might get them. Read that. Oh, yeah, I did read that. Uh, let's see. Kwame says I tried for the Travis ones, but I didn't expect the W. OK, so there you have with that. Um, let me put myself back on the main screen and we're going to close things out here for the night, man. Uh, definitely been on his joint hour, 30 minutes. Appreciate y'all for coming through, showing love. Definitely smash the like button. Really goes a long way. Sub up to the channel if you're new, if you haven't done so already. Of course, sign up for that sold out Discord. Link is pinned at the top of the chat. It is free to sign up. Growing, growing slowly but surely. Salute to the ones that are still grinding it out on YouTube. And I like to see everybody growing and winning, man. But... Uh, this is Sold Out Wednesday. We'll be back live Saturday with another Sold Out Live, another Sold Out podcast. Hopefully the brother Dunks is available, but we'll keep it moving from there. Um, other than that, man, definitely smash the like button, sub up to the channel. Of course, my name is Jeremy Jones. I make content about sneakers, occasional trial hauls, and y'all know pretty much we got Music Monday and Sold Out again coming on Saturday. And other than that, man, yeah, I am um, officially out this thing, man. Peace.
If you slide, tell me now what you do for me, girl. Been alone for some time, so it's new for me, girl. But I yeah. wanna take a chance on you truthfully, girl. Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that. Where you all piece me to leave that. Got you on my lock, I need to keep that. Yeah, I mean that. Oh, you see that. I've been trying to hold back, gotta practice of control. Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone. Need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone yeah. Just say when you alone, on my way, I'm going gone, yeah, yeah. I just told my shawty, better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever, girl, come through I just told my shawty, better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof Come through It's been a long day You should roll up Now it's you Every time my phone buzz Need you around I've been so alone Shit be hard When I'm on the road All this Louis love Just made me wet the grill I don't really wanna touch you Less it's my for real I put all them diamonds On her like a chandelier She gon' get a double murder If the looks could kill yeah. These feelings are familiar Swear she look familiar Swear to God I need her Swear to God I need love I've been in out of lust I've been in out of touch I've been in out of love Yeah. I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up if you want to Looking at the sky through the sun roof We can do whatever girl come through I just told my shawty better come through We can turn it up Take a chance on you truthfully, girl Girl, I'll be a man, I know you need that Where you all piece of me to leave that Got you on my lock, I need to keep that Yeah, I mean that, oh, you see that I've been trying to hold back, got a practice of control Every time I call you, girl, I always get that tone I just need to see you, girl, I'm tired of that phone Just say when you alone Got through the sun. 